today I'm gonna to cover some must-have tools and accessories for your tower garden, where you can find them, what do you need them for, how to use them. Also wanna go over some hidden uses for tower garden accessories, so let's get right into it. First, the tools we're gonna to need to maintain our garden. Well, let's talk, first talk about pH. Why is pH so important to measure in your garden, and why should I use a digital pH meter? This is the one I use, I've used it for a few years. I love it, it's waterproof. If this one broke, I'd get it again. I'll put a link up in the description box below. In fact, everything in this video, I'm gonna make sure I link up in the description box below so you can find it easily. And if I have more information about that product, then I'll put a card up so you can go click on that video and get even more information about how to use that product. So your pH is really important to balance because certain nutrients are only available at certain pH levels and certain plants require certain nutrients. So it's really important to make sure you know which plants require which pH levels when you plant those into your garden and that your garden has kind of an overall similar pH, which generally for hydroponics gardens is around 6.0. Make sure when you search on like Google, when you're typing in your plant, you type for in a tower garden or in a hydroponic garden because the pH levels for hydroponic gardens are gonna be a lot more acidic than for regular gardens. So the way you use this is you would just turn it on, put it in your water, it tells you your pH level, and then you use pH up or pH down to adjust accordingly. Next, let's talk about how we're gonna measure your nutrients. This is with an EC or TDS meter. That stands for electrical conductivity or total dissolved solids, which is measured in parts per million. And that might have totally sounded like absolute nonsense to you, and that kind of doesn't really matter right now because what you would do with this is you would use this in correlation with all the free guides and videos that I have here and over at humblegrowthhydroponics.com on nutrients and mastering your tower garden nutrients. And you would use the numbers that I have in those guides and you would line those up with the numbers here that you would find on this screen and you would make sure that your tower garden's nutrients are optimized throughout the entire plant's growth cycle. Now the next thing we need to check in our water and have a tool to monitor is the temperature. Luckily, my trusty Apera pH meter also has a built-in thermometer. So when we take our pH reading, we can be checking our water's temperature as well. And that's important because with gardens, hydroponic gardens in particular, root rot is a real problem. When the water reaches above 85 degrees, that invites these bacteria and parasites into your gardens, which can cause root rot and can kill your plants. With tower gardens, it's less common because the water is circulating. However, we wanna do everything we can to keep the water temperature down, to avoid root rot, and to keep the uh, nutrient uptake as high as possible for our plants. So with that in mind, grab some of this. This is food grade hydrogen peroxide. And then every week we're gonna add 15 milliliters per gallon of food grade hydrogen peroxide to our garden. This is gonna keep things clean. This is also gonna help prevent root rot. This is gonna add a little more oxygen. I use this one and I concentrate it down so that one gallon lasts me a lot longer because we only need it to be 3%. And make sure it's food grade. Don't grab the stuff in the brown bottles that has shelf life extenders in it and those are not food grade things that we don't want to bring into our garden so all right next i want to talk about some tower garden accessories that have some other uses so the tower garden flex stand with the wheels on it isn't just a stand to move your tower garden around that's actually ideal for if you have your garden on a deck or a driveway or an outside surface that gets hot what that's for is to move air underneath your tower garden to keep your garden from getting too hot and reaching that 85 degree water temperature we were talking about. So if you have this stand, it allows air to be circulated underneath your garden and it keeps things nice and cool. So if you live somewhere where you're growing outside and you think that that might be an issue with the water temperature getting too high, you might wanna pick up a stand or even just think about building something yourself to elevate your tower garden off the ground to allow airflow underneath it. Next, let's talk about the tower garden trellis. Aside from being a great trellis, so you can grow plants that need support, this actually is a really great light holder. So I don't use Tower Garden's lights because I like to have a, a full optimized custom light setup that I change out for the different stages of growth. Um, I'll have like blue lights clipped to the trellis, really, really close to the net cups whenever the plant's just starting off, and then I'll switch those out to red lights, that's full spectrum lights throughout the growth cycle and have this whole thing filled up. Um, so. With that, it allows you a lot more freedom and customization. If you don't wanna use the tower garden lights, you could just buy a bunch of these strip lights uh, and use that trellis to support the lighting. 
And the final accessory is an accessory to you as the gardener. Take advantage of all of the free information that I offer on Humble Growth and HumbleGrowthHydroponics.com. I have a ton of free guides on mastering your tower garden. I have a ton of free resources here on this channel for mastering your tower garden. And then if you wanna take it to the final step, I have the 14 part mastering your tower garden series, which is a whole, you know, 14 part series with like a 150 page course guide, synthesizing sunlight, the whole nine yards. So make sure you check all that out at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. I really look forward to hearing about your grows and all your success in the tower gardens. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Uh, I'd love to hear from you and let's grow together.